Okay, now we'll take the laws of reflection of light in vector form. So what earlier we had is some sort of like a, uh, in a simple case, suppose if a light is incident on a plane mirror where the plane mirror lies in a space, then in what action the reflected ray will be in that particular space. So now going back to the with basic coordinate geometry, that numerical solving will be very difficult. So what is the alternative suggestion like? So let's go for the law of reflection of light in vector form. This one. So let me define an unit vector in the direction of incident ray. What is the unit vector E2 cap? Direction of, uh, it will be directed in the direction of reflected light. So what is E1 cap? Unit vector directed along incident ray. What is E2 cap? Unit vector directed along reflected. Ray. We know it's a unit vector. So what should be the magnitude? Magnitude of unit vector should be equal to one. Okay, let me define the E1 cap. E1 cap. So angle of incidence must be called angle of reflection. So from that idea, no, we'll, we'll define this. So th this angle should be theta then this angle should be theta. So what is even cap? <coughs> even cap, we can represent it as mod of even sine theta t cap minus of mod of even cap cos theta n cap. Okay, now, now, now a few things. So what are t cap and n cap? N cap is a unit vector along normal. T cap will be unit vector. They'll be directed tangential to the plane of a mirror. Tangential to surface, tangential to the plane of mirror T cap. What about N cap? Unit vector directed normal to the plane of mirror. I think I'm showing in the diagram, no need to write separately. N cap, T cap or, or okay, we'll define that all. unit vector and directed normal to the plane of mirror. What about T cap unit vector <coughs> directed tangential to the plane of mirror. Okay, let me define this even cap. The direction of even cap is like this. So a component of this it's horizontal component. So E1 sine theta, this direction is given T cap. E1 cap cos theta will be along minus N cap. Listen, so after simplifying this further, magnitude of E1 cap should be one. So this will become sine theta T cap cos theta N cap. Similarly, we'll take the E2 cap. So E2 cap mod of E2 cap should be equal to E2 sine theta T cap plus E2 cap cos theta N cap. Sine theta T cap cos theta N cap. Let me take the difference of these two, E2 cap. When I take the difference of these two, I'll get, a, get it as two cos theta in cap. <coughs> take the, let, 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 let's take the difference of these two equations. Sine theta cap, sine theta cap gets eliminated, cos theta in cap, minus of minus cos theta in cap will be two cos theta in cap. Two cos theta is the magnitude, n cap is the direction. Please. So further simplifying this, this will become E2 cap equal to E1 cap plus
to cos theta n cap. Let me take the dot product of E1 cap and N cap. Even the mod of, because all these are unit vectors, no? So this should be cos of, uh, what is the angle between E1 cap and N cap? Should be 180 degrees, 180 minus pi or pi minus theta. Dot product, uh, A bar dot B bar should be equal to A B cos theta. What is the angle between N cap and E, e, e one cap, 180 minus theta or pi minus theta. Let, let me show the vector diagram. It will be easier. This is N cap. This is E one cap. This is the angle. Theta. So what can be this angle? Pi minus theta. So what is the dot product? Angle between <coughs> A bar dot B bar should be equal to A, A mod of A plus mod of B cos of angle between those two vectors. Angle between E1 cap and N cap is not theta. In fact, pi minus theta from the mathematics. So E1 cap dot cap, this should be equal to one. Uh, cos of 180 minus theta minus cos theta. Shall I go and keep that cos theta term there, substituting that. So E2 cap, so let me write this equation one, two. Put two in one, then E2 cap, E1 cap, two, cos theta will be, So this is the vector form of the law of reflection. So if you know the normal and if you know the direction of incident, you can predict the direction of reflected. That's a very simple. If you know the normal for a plane mirror and if you know the direction of incident, you can with this E2 cap, you can predict the direction of reflected. Use the method. Use the direction of incident tree. Gives or indicates anything. I think there's a very best formula available to deal with the three dimensional <coughs> problems related to law of reflection. Really, this is going to help us. Suppose a mirror is suspended in a space, then normal to that particular plane is what n cap will come. And I know the direction, unit vector directed along incident ray. With the help of that, I'll get the direction of the reflected ray. This is one advantage of this particular formula. Okay, we'll take one numerical related to this uh, vector.